In this video, we're gonna go over the five things we learned about kids driving and riding the Hatfield and McCoy trail system. Stick around to the end where each parent answers the question, will they allow their kid to drive this system again, knowing what they know now. Please show your support by hitting the subscribe button and clicking the bell icon to turn on notifications. First thing we learn, each rider and driver is required to have a permit no matter what age they are. Usually the place you're renting at will have them to be able to supply them. If not, we will link the website below that will give you directions to locations that sell the permits that you are required to have to ride the Hatfield and McCoy trail system. Second, every driver or passenger is required to wear a DOT approved helmet or a snail approved helmet. Now we've seen comments where people say that you can you know, wear those axle helmets and then the DNR officer doesn't give them a hard time. Wear it at your own risk. We weren't able to find anywhere on any official site that said those helmets were approved. And that's at the time of making this video. We will link the official sites below in the description. So check it out. They might finally get it approved. We understand why people want to wear them because it is super hot putting those big helmets on but we're just sharing you the information that we found when we were doing our research while looking this up. Now, we never got stopped by a DNR officer, but where we're staying at, right out front, we did see a side-by-side -side get stop and ticket it for not having a helmet on. So if you ride without a helmet, if you're riding at your own risk, just need to have that ticket money ready if you do get caught. Third, what age can a youth driver drive? The only thing we're able to find is on the Trail Heavens website where it states that the driver of the machine has to meet the manufacturer specifications. Now we drove by state police, county police, city police, we were never pulled over uh, and never had any issues. So if you have a younger driver than what's stated in the manufacturer specifications, you're driving at your own risk. That's just what we found, take it for what it is. Fourth thing, any operator under the age of 16 must be accompanied by an adult and be able to direct line of sight of them operating the machine. Obviously, if you're riding in a group, they're going to be directly behind you in line of sight. So that requirement shouldn't be a big issue. I think what it's supposed to do is prevent you just allowing your kids to run off down the trail by themselves, causing havocs like kids do. Number five, what is the minimum age that your child need to be to be a passenger on the Hatfield McCoy trail system. It is six years old. It's stated on the website that it's six years old. The permit paper that you signed to receive the permit clearly states that no child under six years old can be on the trail system. We do not agree with that, but we're just letting everybody know so it's not a surprise if you drive really far to get here and then see that on the permit paper. It even asks you what age is the child if the child is under 18 years old that you have to write in the mark. So just giving you a heads up before you drive a really long way and have a bad day because you have a child under six years old. Now those are the five things that we found out while planning our trip to the Hatfield McCoy trail system. We will link the official sites below in the description for you to check where you have the most updated information before planning your trip. Now, before anybody comments, we fully understand that people have been riding this trail system many years before it was created in 2000. And many times people have brought kids below those age limits or have drivers below the manufacturer age limits and never had any problems. We're not disagreeing with you. All we're trying to do is educate someone on what we found and so they can make a better decision on um, before they make the long trip up to Hatfield McCoy trail system to drive these beautiful trails. We are no way are saying we agree with this or disagree with this. We're just stating the facts that we found to help people make a better decision. In conclusion, we do answer the question, will we allow our kids to drive the Hatfield and McCoy trail system again, knowing what we know now? That parent table discussion took a lot longer than I anticipated 
And so we made an entire separate video of it that we will link in the below description. So check that out if you're interested in seeing him. Please show your support by hitting the subscribe button and clicking the bell icon to turn on notifications. If this video was helpful, please smash the like button and thank you for watching.